Hello, 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 and welcome to another video here on the Second Day Gaming Channel. And La Primavera is right around the corner, so I thought, what better to do than actually play the route or the, play the race? And we are going to pick the man in form, the Strada Bianca winner, Tare Bogaccia, who has not won this monument, one of the two monuments he hasn't won so far, this and Paro Bay. So we'll see if we can do that. We'll pick UAE Team Emirates. So obviously we want to win with Tarbagacha. So I'm thinking in terms of team, Tim Wellens, yes. Sebastian Molano, maybe not because we want someone strong on the hills and strong poles. Marquez, yes. Miguel Biel, yes. Tarbagacha, yes. Kobe, yes. And I would say probably Diego Lisi. So that's our team. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So here it's we are for the race. We'll comes to the terrain, fast forward a bit. At least the team's Obviously, Tarbagacha is our crowning course, jewel. So let's put. I'll probably put Alessandro Corvi to defend him. And yeah, let's do that. But yeah, as we know, well, we're seeing the break There's going no off the front. Attack. But as we all know, cycling fans alike, this is Milan San Remo. There is a lot of junk kilometers, so with these two riders out in front, I know they want TV time. With Damien Housen as well coming here, but I'm going to fast forward us to just before the suppressor. Right, so we are 48 kilometers to go here, and as we can see, Olaf Koy is doing work for this Melissa bike for whatever reason. Stefan Bissiga as well. We've got Miguel Biao in here, Andrea Piccolo, Jan Tratnik. Christopher Laporte up here towards the front, but in terms of the break, we have Brambilla, we have Gaboro, we have one of the Bice brothers, Matthias Bice, Huberts uh, from I'm not sure where, and Damien Housen from the Q36.5 team. But in terms of our strategy here, as we just get back into the game, we can, well, we're still keeping our powder dry for the time being. Miguel Biao being up there is somewhat of a action, if you will. He's making sure that the brake don't have too much of a gap. You can see it's coming down to one, one almost 130 here. And yeah, what are we gonna do? Miguel Biao, should we just, we need to put the pressure on high, I think, for the suppressor. And I, this is probably what we want to see Tarabagacha do with his team in the real uh, version. But it looks like that pace is high 46 kilometers an hour okay it's not that high but yeah Jumbo Visma what are they doing I think they might unlike the real version have what we're not yeah they've got what we're not so let's see where we've got Tadip Gacha he's a bit further down uh, Macho Vanderpool obviously a danger man as well so if we say take position here just move him up a bit and yeah we'll wait and see what happens here but it's still Yumbo. well this melissa bike flicking an elbow there of all of koi still don't know why they decided to just use up like uh, koi and laporte but who cares really they're not our problem luke plapp as well macho vanderpool big danger man have we moved up have we moved ourselves up no not quite uh Roglic is here I think, I'm not even sure he's done Milan San Remo, but yeah, uh, we've got Tim Wellens with us, which is good. Alexi Lutsenko, Binyam Gamay, all the kind of danger men, and yeah, I kind of want to put the hurt on a bit because we're getting towards the suppressor. So I'm gonna put Miguel Piao to go about 83, and uh, that should be quite a tough prospect for many of these riders uh, I wonder if we can position him behind yeah we can actually so if we hmm so many choices if we get Niels Pollitt to relay and then we follow Niels Pollitt with another rider uh, probably Tim Wellens Tim Wellens you can follow okay they're not the pace is quite hard here hi we've got two kilometers to the suppressor so i'm going to try and form a little train here of our guys uh but right now this melissa bike if we just stop in time because we can do that we have that power um yeah if we put diego alisi on tim wellens's wheel 
uh, here she on yeah Diego Alisi's wheel and then Tadabagacha will put on here she's wheel uh, did I do it right there we're about to find out yes I did so now we have a train Corby somewhere in the hey, middle there moving. but the looks like Miglubiao is dying a bit let's try and put him up, up to 90 he's all burnt out so now it's time for Pollitt 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 we're losing here go Pollitt go bring this train up okay maybe if we just get it a bit in motion Attack. you can see attacks flying off right, left right and center there Kosnofar trying to do something here but we're going to try and do something here with Pollitt uh, ah, a bit of a satellite move here going on. First phase of attack softening up by some of the other teams with their second riders, I would think. But we are going all out here with the U uh, U Uno X train. No, the UAT Membrance train here. We're going to do it proper old school. Well, old school Team Sky almost here. Uh, none of the big ride, well, the big rivals really faced by our train here. But yeah. Pollard doing his best now, riding 95% of his capabilities. Of Coming down to the suppress as well. We lost Corby, unfortunately. So Corby's... Well, have we just made an escape group? Yeah, we have. Oh, this is amazing. Okay. We need to keep this going. So if behind, if There's we... This is... So yeah, quite... Oh, no. It's back. It's back. It's tactic over. Tactic strength. over. But... If we get Tim Wellens to just pull on the front here, maybe that can... Nils Pollard still has some gas in him. Okay, go behind Nils Pollard because he still has gas. Uh, the rest of them still there. Laporte on our wheel, so that was a bit of annoying. But in terms of the positioning battle for what's coming up in terms of the podule, we're in quite a good position. Uh, a lot of resource into this move as well, but uh, you have to think outside the box in these situations. Come on, Pollock, just burn the tank. Completely burn all the fuel you have in that tank. And then we've got Wellens. Wellens probably shouldn't be the next man, if I'm honest. But he is. C'est la vie. Wellens, just go for it. Let's try and... Yeah, a split is happening. A split is happening. So, uh... We're not even at the podio. We've still got two kilometers, three kilometers to go, and we're trying to drive, drive it here. Oh, there's a bit of, uh, yeah, response here from the other teams. You've got Laporte there. Let's just get on Laporte's wheel. Oh no, Laporte's taking it out. Okay, next. Who's next? It is uh, Ulisi. We just lost the momentum just there because of that move, unfortunately. Uh, that was my fault. But we have gotten it down to 38 riders. So if we hope that there's a split. Um, yeah, Diego Lisi not doing much, so if we get Hiyashi, Hiyashi just up the pace here please, a lot, a lot, do it a lot, uh, Pickcock trying to attack, Wat Van Aert trying to attack here, Wellens, have you got anything left in the tank, uh, Hiyashi, oh uh, Hiyashi, no, okay, Tare, you need to go, you need to go, you need to go, you need to go, Tare, Tare, go, 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 go. This is the... Oh, no, we're already... It's it's over. It's over. I messed up. I didn't realize the podium was nothing. Uh, okay, so we got a huge group coming to the finish now. So this was a bit of a mess. Um, can we still win it? Okay, here, actually, try and attack. Just attack. Go for it. You have my permission. Just go, go, go. Oh, we only got two Ks now. Uh, Pogaccia, are we gonna salvage this? Salvage it? No. This this was a bit of a mess. Uh, Caleb Ewan, is he finally gonna win it? This was a right mess. <laughs> Honored to no, Mathilde Trentin. Oh no, Mess Pills. Ah. That was annoying. <laughs> yeah, that, that was fifth place. I mean, it's. I've done worse than these. The yeah, that, I thought we had the strategy nailed. I thought it all went well, success. and then suddenly there was no more Poggio left, and it was time for the descent. So, definitely didn't make the most of this. But you can see Mass Pilsen winning. Quite funny, Caleb Ewan second again. I think that's the third time finishing second. And we finished ahead of Primus Roglic and ahead of Filippo Ghana. Uh, Macho Van der Poel was 14th. What went on? Ninth. So, yeah. 
strange group that strange addition if this is what happens but um yeah um make sure to hit the like button if you haven't already on these videos subscribe to the channel that's trying to get to a thousand and comment down below what i should have done to win this race with tidal gacha i think that's fair to say but until next time i will see you around thank you for watching and see you in the next one